All right. The title of our um, Sabbath school study today is Your Authority in the Battle. Uh, I want the scriptures we're going to read today is the first one is going to be Colossians 3, 1 and 2. We can just jot those down and then we'll go to Galatians 5, 22, 23. And we'll come back to 24. Four, five because I want to have something to um to talk about on 25 and then I um and we're going to go from there uh we'll go I think those will be our own two scriptures that we'll have today all right okay, okay. all right so the enemy wants wants us to forget what our authority in Christ and it's unintentionally that we give him that authority okay when we fight the enemy directly when we try to take this on for ourselves it makes us tired we get upset we get angry because we can't fight this by ourselves we have to have spiritual tools we have to have things in order for us to have the authority to fight in this battle. And this is um, when we fight in our flesh or we try to do things our way, we're just wounding the enemy. He's not being defeated. Okay. He, he's not being overcome we are getting tired we get frustrated and it doesn't bother him you know that we're getting tired and we're getting frustrated and there being no results so in order to fight on his level we have to move out of the things of the flesh and go under the grace of god and go and asking jesus to fight this battle for us because it's too heavy for us it's too much and we can't carry it and Satan and his demons, they, you know, they were kicked out of heaven because they tried to overthrow the kingdom of God. And we know that they couldn't do that. So in order for us to fight this battle that we have with the enemy, we have to seek God. We have to seek Jesus. We have to pray. We have to keep our hearts and our minds on the things above. Um, um, we have to be able to do whatever god has called us to do to set our minds on those things so if you can go to colossians 3 tasha can you read that scripture for us colossians 3 1 through 2. yes uh -huh, i have it thank you uh, amen it's and it reads if ye then be risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ sitteth on the right hand of god Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Thank you. We we have to know who we are, and we have and we have that authority. We um we have to know that we can trample on the enemy. We can stomp on any situation with the power of Jesus Christ. We cannot do it alone. So what is the? I'm going to ask you some questions, and we can we can you know respond, or you can just ponder over them. What is the authority that God has given each of us to use? What authority that God has given each of us to use? What do we have? The word. The word. Mm -hmm. We have to speak it. Yeah. We have to speak the word. Yeah. I yeah. can speak words, but what else do I need to go with that word? Faith. Faith. Right. There you go. I have the faith that when I say something and I have the word and I can read the word, I'm not, you know, belittling anything. But if I read the word and don't have any faith to believe that it will come true, then I'm just like the Bible. said, so I'm just a sounding symbol. I'm just a banging symbol. I have no power. But when I come in the authority in whose name do we come with authority? Jesus. In Jesus' Jesus name. Right. Because he said he would he has given us the authority over these things, over 
the serpents and lions and bears and tigers. Oh my, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so whatever it may be, we have that authority. All right. Let's listen to this question. If you or me or us, anybody, try to fight the enemy directly, what do you think will happen to, with us? We'll fall down. We'll lose that battle. Yeah, we'll be defeated. Yeah. It's enough because there ain't nothing in us. <laughs> right. And right. And what, what else? Not only defeated, but what else could happen? Mm -hmm. You think we could lose we, some faith? Lose faith, be stressed. Mm -hmm. yeah, be frustrated, real frustrated. Right. Ashamed. Right. It's a lot of things that could happen to us if we try to fight this thing or try to do something on our own. Okay. Now we know about the fruit of the spirit, right? So, Sister Janice, can you get Galatians 5, 22 and 23? Yeah, I, I have it. Okay. Okay, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Yes. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Verse 23. Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Okay. So now, with those things right there, the fruit of the spirit, how can we use those things to fight in a battle? Hmm. Or fight the enemy? How, or fight anything that comes against us? Um, like, Thank for you. example, like um, if someone says something that maybe would just get you angry instead of responding in your flesh and anger you could respond in love and peace mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. towards them you could show them love still still talk nice to them still you know if they need something you can still do it for them like you right. to overcome that's one way <laughs> right that's one way yeah anything else this Janet, do you have anything you want to share well um um well, just like she said, you have to use you have to walk in love and peace. Mm -hmm. And sometimes something's gonna happen over and over. That's that long suffering mm -hmm. um that you go through. It's just being able to go through and knowing that um that this too shall pass and that you will have the victory in it. And that's that faith wall because we can't see it. We can't see the victory, but the victory is there. So mm -hmm. we have to know that God is going to work this situation out. And sometimes it's just good not to say nothing and just know that God is going to work it out for his good in the end, you know. And so we have to walk by faith. And you always treat people, even even sometimes when they do bad to you, just like you said, you, you always treat them good. You know, if like one time when I was on a job and every morning I would speak to everybody, there was one lady that wouldn't speak to me. <laughs> But every morning, I made sure I said good morning to her. And even if she did, she didn't say good morning back. I made sure I said it to her. Good yeah. morning, so and so. Have a good day today. And <laughs> so one day I was, um, and before I go into work, I pray. One day I came into work and I had something on my mind. And I, it's been about six months. And so in this six months, I had something on my mind. So I came into the door. And she was standing at the door, but I didn't see her. And I didn't speak. I just walked right on by because I had something in my mind. Mm -hmm. And she said, good morning, Janice. And I turned around and it was her, the woman that never spoke to me for six months. <laughs> and I wow. said, my God, good morning. But when she <laughs> said good morning, and then I said in my mind, my God, and I said to her, good morning. It changed the whole frame of my mind of what I was thinking on, what was worrying me that day. It changed everything because yeah. in that instant, I'm like, she spoke to me <laughs> out of all this time. <laughs> the fruit of your labor, you know, it's the fruit of your labor too, you know, because I have been speaking to her for those six months. And wow, this morning when I walked past her and didn't say anything, she spoke. So that was nothing but God and, and, and having faith and going through that long suffering time of speaking to someone who wouldn't speak to me, who didn't like me for no reason at all. And then from that day on, we always spoke and talked. So, you know, God got a way of doing things. If you walk in, what, and the joy, the peace, the love, 
the um go through the long suffering, the gentleness, the goodness. If we act more like that than to act like ourselves, you right. know, and you can see that as you're dealing with people, um, when you keep doing those good things, you keep feeding someone and, and, and don't um hate it that you got to feed this person every day the right. same person they can't pay they light bill the same person i got to pay they light bill the same person i got to pay their water bill but just do it in love and kindness yeah and if you're gonna complain have I drawn thee. that's what god say in love right. and have I draw thee. so that's yeah. the only thing that's gonna draw people to to god it's a fruit of his spirit that's lived in us and they got to see that if you complain then how can they see god in right. you how can they see God yeah. blessing you? Because you complain every day because I don't have I don't have this type of pants. I don't have this type of shirt. Well, they can't <laughs> see God in that because they don't have a shirt at all. They don't have a pair of pants at all. They may right. not have a pair of shoes at all. So, you know, but but we have to be grateful of the things that God uh uh, uh do for us and how he and how he loved us. Because you know, when 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 I think about the goodness of God. And in my life, then I get happy because I know that it said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But when I apply that word to my life, for God loved me, for God loved us, right, right. that he gave his only begotten son. So I draw it in close, I draw the word in closer to me. For God loved me that much. Yeah. He loved me that much that he gave his only begotten son. And and that that's something i can't do for nobody but god loved me that much that mm -hmm. he did that and so we we have to we have to think of it like that we got to love people that much you know right. and sometimes we're gonna have to suffer with them that much yeah right. feed you every day but that's right. my suffering part i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it gracefully that's right I'm do it in love mm -hmm. now now will you read um the same now read verse 25 for us. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Yes, ma'am. So yes, you were just talking about that. So right. if we if we live in the spirit, we live in the things of God, we live in the fruit of the spirit, then we have to walk this thing out in our lives. That's right. So others can see, you know, it's not just for me and my four and no more. It's mm -hmm. for others to see the goodness of God is for others to see that there's fruit on the tree. There's good fruit. You know, it's like if you get a bad apple, you know, if you leave it there with the other apples, it's going to spoil the whole bunch, the whole yes, uh, bag of apples or whatever you may have. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're producing good fruit. So when we, we're going out, we're going out to outreach. We're going out to help our neighbors. We're going out to work. And like Miss Janice was giving an example, when we go out to the grocery store, where wherever we go, you know, we've got to walk in this. Mm -hmm. You know, we can we can we can talk about it all day long, but it's imperative that we walk this out. We have to walk this out so others can see the goodness of God. Okay. Yes. My That's next nice. question, you guys. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And sometimes in our weakness people see our strength because that's the strength of god if someone is cussing you out every day uh, uh cussing you out when you go to so somebody cuts you out and people see you cussing back that that's just the way of the world you, right. you cuss, they cuss but when they see you walk away from that and say i love you anyhow then they see other people may say well she was weak but and when they finally get to think about it they'll see the strength there is strength and not fighting people back there is strength in loving people and your Amen. weakness, your weakness become God's strength. Well, he tell us that Matthew said that the weak will be strong. So we're made mm -hmm. strong. So you're showing strength, you're showing your, your strength and your faith in God that you don't have to fall prey because that's a battle and you don't yes. have to fall prey to that. And you can fight that battle with the love, the kindness, and even just walking away sometimes. And sometimes it's hard for people to just walk away from somebody that's, that's spewing out foul and demonic words to them and try to still love them, you yeah. know, but we're going to be equipped to fight this battle. That's why we have that. Which we're talking about the authority to fight these things. So we won't be weak and fighting, even though they may think it is like you said, they might think we are, but we're strong and mighty from 
pulling down strongholds and principalities and rulers of high places because we have that authority that God, Christ gave us. Amen. 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 Did you want to share anything, uh, Tasha? You know what? There was a verse that um, that kind of wrote. I feel like lined up with this, but I couldn't find a verse. So if I find okay. it, I'll, I'll look okay. for it. Keep going. Okay. If I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. That's fine. So my next question is, what must we do to stay under the protection of God? What 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 must we do to stay under the shadow of the Almighty, to stay under his wings, to stay right there in his presence? What do you all think we should have, what we should do? you must have a uh you you're gonna have to have a prayer life you're gonna have to be in the word you're gonna have to be meditating on the word reading the word studying the word because you got to know what god how god wants you to act how he wants you to do you got to feed your spirit because mm -hmm. whatever you feed is the way you're going to act so that's right you got to feed your spirit man and that's with the word of god yeah. And then we talk, and what about the, okay, so we fed our spirit, and then what about our mind? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to go to? Think about the protection we're talking about in a battle. So how are we going to protect our mind? How are we going to protect our heart? How are we going to guard ourselves against oh, these yeah. things? Ah, you know where I'm going now. Mm -hmm. So think about those things, and then tell me how do we stay under the protection of God? What is it? Uh, is it in Philippians four? I think. Uh, what sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are true? What sort of things are a good report? And there's a couple more that I'm probably think missing. on these things. Right. Think on these. Right. Think on these things. So, so right. just you know, watching the thoughts in your mind. I think that's a big one for me too. Watching the thoughts in your mind and making sure that if those thoughts do not line up with God, that you're casting down the imaginations and mm -hmm. not not just letting mm -hmm. your mind think whatever. Like you might like something might happen. That might upset you so then you start thinking about that thing that's upsetting you and you keep thinking about it over 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 instead of just looking at it and yeah you get upset and you know it might it might kind of th you know throw you off for a moment but then catching yourself and trying to make sure that you uh bring your your uh, mind back into a place of thinking about the situation through the eyes of god and, and what god want you to to think about or or how 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 God wants you to look at the situation or think about that situation and and just eventually you know when you put it in his hand then you don't got to think about it all just just put it in his hand and let him handle it if it's you know if it's nothing you can do about the situation that may be upsetting you or something like that so just watching your thoughts watching the right yeah don't right don't. and I didn't put this in my notes but in psalms 91 it tells us that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say to the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust mm -hmm. so he's our fortress he's we talked about that before how the stronghold have a, a a stronghold on you but the but god is our fortress he'll protect our heart he'll protect our mind he he his holy spirit will, will guard against those things that might have strongholds mm -hmm. against us he is our refuge so if we if we have don't have a place to go not just physically but in the spirit he That's is true. our place to go he is our refuge he is Almighty God. And he said in his secret place. And I think what you were saying, Miss Janice, about prayer life. That's the secret place. That's where a place where we go and we meet him in that secret place. Amen. It says, Amen. surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Yes. And from the northern pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrows that follow us by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh of thee. And, you know, we can go on and on and on. 
Yes. So that's the protection. That's being under the shadow of the Almighty. But as we're being protected, we have to put on the whole arm of God. So when we go to Ephesians 5, verse 11, it tells us to put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. So we know that in this battle, we have the authority to stand as we put on the whole armor mm -hmm. because we, we have a refuge, we have a fortress in God. But he mm -hmm. also wants us to protect ourselves by making sure that we put on not pieces of the armor, but the whole armor. That armor, I know a lot of people talk about that, but that's a very important thing because I know for myself, you know, I, I've been traveling, I've been doing some stuff, I've been all over the place, and I'm just just um, wore myself out yeah and my 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 thoughts are just not my thoughts you know and i feel like i'm just woo, zoning out and mm -hmm. i had to really reel myself back in i'm like i gotta i've got to protect my thoughts and my minds and then because whatever i my mind is thinking my actions come behind that mm -hmm. yeah and, you know because i was picking up my daughter and it's like yesterday and uh I kind of like halfway spoke to people and I was like, let me apologize because I told us I'm tired. I'm this, that, and the other, but that's the enemy. That was that battle I had to face. And I didn't, I didn't face it right then, but I got up early enough to say, let me apologize. I'm sorry for my action because if I had to let that thing kept going, if they see me like today or tomorrow or next week, they'd be like, what's you still, you know, they look at me in a funny way mm -hmm. because I have not resolved that, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we know that when we are in a battle, mm -hmm. that we know how to resolve those things because it's important that we know how to stand against the wiles of the enemy in the battle. Mm -hmm. You know, because it said we're mm -hmm. not with flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's a lot of evil going on. There's a lot of people with self-identity things or they're mm -hmm. just selfish or it's all about them, their ego. So we got to know how to deal with all of this in, in the world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Because like you were talking about the lady that wouldn't speak to you for, for months. That was that was some wickedness way up there because who, who, who can't open their mouth and say good morning? Amen. You know? You know, that was something that that woman had dealt with for, and that thing had just had held her captive. Mm -hmm. but, but by the grace of God that you, you had the strength, you had, you were equipped to, in this battle. Cause that was a battle cause you didn't mm -hmm. have to, but mm -hmm. that was bad, but you kept going and you kept pursuing and you kept, you know, pressing on to be nice and gentle and kind and speak to her, even if she never spoke back. And the moment that you thought, you know, the moment that you had something, you were preoccupied, her heart was lightened. And she said, Jesus. good morning. Mm -hmm. You know, and you mm -hmm. could, and, and then in that authority, you walked in the authority and saying that I have the fruit of the spirit. I have love. I have joy in this battle. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I have to down strongholds because, you know, the, when people they can't speak or they or they look at you kind of cross-eyed or just give you that eh, you know that you know something is going on with you. yes and that's why we have to walk with our authority with love and kindness amen yes now amen. anybody else have anything they want to add to that no i think that was good amen okay now we talked earlier about our heart and our mind. Where should we keep them? Where should you keep your heart? Where should we keep our mind? Uh, focus on uh, God. Focus. Yeah, that's it. Felicia, <laughs> four somewhere. I mean, Philippians four. We should keep it focused on God all the time. The things of the Lord, the goodness, um, His love, and God. The things that's eternal. Right. Yeah. Right. And why is that? Why? Yeah. 
Repeat the question. Hold on. Repeat the no, question. I, I said, and why is that? Sister Janet said we should think on the things that are lovely and pure and eternal. I'm like, and why? What oh, okay, it, okay. Why? Okay. It, um, what does that do for should, us? Yes, like it, it, it keeps us light. Like it, it keeps the weight off of us. There's a weight that comes with thinking negative or feeling negative it's it's a weight that comes with negativity at least you know mm -hmm. and so when you start to think negative and 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 you let your mind stay in a bad place or an upset place or just any kind of negative place that's not of god you know it's like we that's that that's a weight and literally like um i feel like you know people that are you know always up upset all the time and they just let themselves stay in this place of being angry the next thing you know people got all different kind of stuff like you know heart problems and and different problems in their body because it's it, it's it's like a heavy weight and it can weigh on your heart it can weigh on your mind you know it can and so it's but god doesn't want us to be weighted down with negativity he wants us to have the positive and the positive is light it's not heavy so that's or at least that's my my personal experience i don't know if i'm describing that right but that's one okay. one reason i feel that we need to you know think positive because we don't want to allow ourselves to be under the weight of the enemy maybe is, is, right. is the way i can describe it no that's excellent that's excellent and and, mm -hmm. and you keep our hearts and minds so we can be stay in perfect peace and i think you had said that earlier that we have the peace of christ in us and then when we're fighting battles, when we're when we have um, battles to fight within our ourselves, you know, we have to be able to keep the we have to get some peace. We have to have some solace so we can have some peace within us. You know, like I was saying about when I uh, with the, with the young ladies that I you know I wasn't when I got home I was just so disarrayed. I was I didn't have peace in my mind. I didn't have peace in my heart. So I had to text them in the morning and tell them, you know, this is what's going on because I don't want, you know, I don't want to be walking around and not having any peace in my life, you know. And Sister yes, D, yes, yes, yes. Man, go ahead. When we keep our mind on negative things, that's what we got so much going on in the world right now. People killing people for no reason, for, for no reason at all. You know, just because I don't like somebody, just because somebody said a word to me, because they're carrying all that heavy weight of hatred, of dislike, yeah. of uncomfort, all that weight they're carrying on them, carrying with them and on them and in them, that they see no goodness, but it is goodness in the world. They see no goodness in other people and they carry it and then they hurt someone or they do that road rage and someone get killed because they got all that stuff on them instead of casting it down and getting rid of it, giving it to the Lord, but they keep it in every day. And, and we do that. We tend to do that as people, um, as men and women of God, we, something happened to us and we carry it for years and years and days and months and we don't let go of it. And that's what that heavyweight do for us because we do that and it makes us do things like murder, like fat fight, like murder with our words. So, you know, whatever we do that's negative, that's harmful to someone else. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And and you probably can survey those people and and 99.9% .9 of them don't know Jesus. They don't. You know, they wouldn't know the love of Jesus Christ, you know. Mm -hmm. because if they had the love of jesus christ and that they had the fruit of the spirit then they wouldn't commit those things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. i was uh reading about a report where a 12 year old girl shot a 40 some year old woman i'm like really yeah really mm -hmm. or kids beating up like you're saying beating up kids at school bullying that's just that's just that's just demonic stuff mm -hmm. You know, and they don't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it is important that we, we uh, that we, um, show the love of Jesus Christ. You know, even mm -hmm. to those people that, as we can say, unlovable. Mm -hmm. I mean, because how do you love somebody that's a rapist? How do you love somebody that's a murderer? How do you love somebody that's that's a pedophile? How do you love them? Mm -hmm. You know, you what they say you have to love the person and hate the sin, sin. right mm -hmm. and we know sin is running rapid in this world and it's a good thing that we have 
that prayer line that we can call every morning and we can pray and we can bind and we can lose things and mm -hmm. you know we have it, it's just it's just phenomenal that we we that we not just we but other groups of people are praying you know praying against this foul and demonic spirits that are coming up, up in this world mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and these are the battles that we have to face and so we have to know the authority that god has given us Mm -hmm. through jesus christ to be able to face these battles right amen so it is important mm -hmm. that we know how the enemy operates the primary form of operation is in the shadows remember it says in in the in some side said in the secret of the darkness dark places so mm -hmm. that you think about it even in the world a lot of things happen in the dark yeah. at mm -hmm. night right i mm -hmm. mean you know now it's like wide open but most of the time it's either at night or in the dark or something it's always under some type of cover or something mm -hmm. okay yeah. Yeah. the enemy reigns in the darkness and that's their kid that's his kingdom if the enemy um if the enemy cannot get you to see that if they cannot see that hey i'm rude it's in darkness and he can say oh this is i'm the i'm the angel of light i do this i can do this then they then the enemy can execute his plan against any of us because mm -hmm. we're thinking that we're we're dealing with the angel of light or we're dealing with somebody in light and we're actually dealing in darkness mm -hmm. so we have to be very careful where we tread where we go what we say and what we do because the enemy you know how they talk about um sometimes you can't speak things into the atmosphere mm -hmm. because the enemy is of because the enemy is of the air mm -hmm. and so when you speak things in the atmosphere you said the enemy can hear and say well you know i heard sister d praying about this that and the other now i'm gonna start sending things against her so and i'll give you all example i put my car in the shop and the man told me one price the car wasn't still fixed we kept fixing on it working on it now it's a whole different big old astronomical price mm -hmm. you know and i'm saying but i got other things i need to do i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do this and it, and it was like and i and the late and the man told me he said he said miss washington just calm down it's gonna be all right it's gonna we're gonna work this out we're gonna work it out. i'm like you're all gonna wipe out my you know account and i'm like who am i trusting am i gonna trust god or am I going to trust my bank account? Mm -hmm. You know, I have to trust God. So that was a battle. I was yesterday. I was because I was battling. Like, what am I going to do? You know, because this this number that you giving me is going to wipe me out. Mm -hmm. I you know, but then I thought about it. and I was like, if God is my provider, so if I just give Him this all this astronomical amount of money, do I trust God that He will take care of me still? You know. Cause I could have just went into battle with the, the oh you know and and the enemy was like yeah I got her now I got her now because she's gonna be thinking about oh how she gonna do this how she gonna do this and I tell you everything that I've gone for to get I've always either get it at a discount or it was on sale or something praise God and I just and I think about that so I had to stop and think and stop myself and said you know what this is not my battle this yeah. this battle is of the Lord. I need to just do what he tells me to do to be mm -hmm. faithful to pay my time to do whatever i need to do mm -hmm. yeah let me can you all um hold on just a second okay oh i found the verse too <laughs> you read the verse i got this that's the car people calling me now hold on okay okay amen <laughs> so um okay let me just give her a moment amen 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 uh the verse uh, let me see here what's well, yes, that turn to it okay it's in matthew the 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 verse i thought about earlier when um when uh, was matthew chapter 7 um mm -hmm. let me see here i want to say verses like 24 through 27 maybe mm -hmm. 24 through 27 and this 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 verse Matthew chapter, se Matthew chapter 7. Uh-huh, chapter 7, yeah. Verses 24 through 20, 27. 
Yes. And I think, yeah, mm -hmm. because earlier we were talking about how, you know, I, I think, Sister D, you asked the question something like, how do we put the fruit into action or something like that? But how, how, how do we uh, use the fruit to fight your enemy? Yeah. Yeah. How, right. So how do we use the fruit to fight our enemy and um, and how we have to walk in it? Like we, we have to walk it out. So we have to. And so I thought about us putting the word into action. And so that made me think about this verse right here. So I'll just read it again. It's Matthew 7, verse 24 through 27. It says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it so when i read that like you know i just think about i believe I, it was Apostle Parker that, you know, she she says this sometimes that, you know, the enemy don't mind if you hear the word, but he don't. But or right. so, something like that. But but if you're not living nothing, then then he you know, he don't mind if you sit in church and hear the word all day, all night, all the time. You come to church, come to church and you hear mm -hmm. the word, you hear the word. That's not doing nothing. Right. But when you apply that word, when when you live it, when your life and your in the actions that you do in your life, you know line up with that word and you're doing it then that's when you're being effective basically is what i you know and i'm i'm sure i'm paraphrasing what she would normally say but um no, you're saying what you should what you're saying is right no, yeah yeah so yeah so that's what that made me think about you know we you know not just seeing the word but also put it in action and just like you said how how can we you know use that that fruit in the battle and you know putting it into action so that that that's what that re uh reminded me of Amen. All right. <laughs> right. And so, you know, if the enemy wants to operate, if you know he's trying to operate in the in the, well, he's not trying, he's operating in the earth, you know, mm -hmm. and he we know he's reigning in darkness, and you know, and what do we have to do to stop him? What do we have to do to hinder him from from even in our lives or even in lives of others? What do you all think that we have to do? Cause you know, I'm gonna tell you. Like, I'm gonna say, make this statement: the battle that we fight is not just our battle. The battle that we fight is for ourselves, our families, it's for other, our nation, the world. So, mm -hmm. how can we stop the enemy? What do you all think? I feel like being obedience stops the enemy. When the Lord tells you to do something and you do it. And you be obedient to God. I feel like that's gonna then whatever the enemy had planned. Mm -hmm. When you just do it God's way, then then God can move and get the victory. You can have victory when you obey God. Do we allow the enemy to win? No, no, no. no. So that, we also got to go through gracefully too. Ah, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> True, boy. Talk about true. grace. Come on, Miss Jen. <laughs> we do. We got to go through gracefully. We can't mama. We can't complain. And when we're going through, we have to put a praise on it and know and speak and speak it. Speak it as if um it is happening. Speak the victory over your life. Mm -hmm. So that when we come into someone else that's going to be enduring that same thing, then mm -hmm. we can teach them and tell them how Thank we you. overcome. And that's you right. Overcome yeah. by speaking it. So even if it if it if it looked like if it looked like it's a um when 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 I wake up in the morning when I pray sometimes I wake up in the morning and I, I and I go to Deuteronomy 28 and I thank the God God for um his mercy and grace but I thank him for also that today is gonna be a, a beautiful day. I thank him for also that I'm gonna have ministry today that I'm gonna speak to be able to speak to somebody about the goodness of the Lord and I and, and so that's just like proclaiming my ministry and that's just proclaiming that today is going to be a good day even though i may trip going down the steps but thank you god i didn't fall and hurt myself you know what i'm right. saying 
So right. I'm speaking that positivity in my life each and every morning. And so, and that's what we have to do when we're going through these battles, these trials and these tests, that even though we can't see it, we, we speak the goodness of it because we walk by faith, not by sight. And so we have to remember that in, in our walk, in our journey uh, with God, that we already have the victory. I just got to speak it into existence. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the switch. Mm -hmm. How do you think that the enemy win the battle in our lives? Uh, because I speak, <laughs> I speak negativity. I mean, it's going to be a bad day to die. I am not going to have nothing I want. When I go to the license place, I'm not going to be able to get my license renewed mm -hmm. because I'm going to flunk that test. Well, when you mm -hmm. get there, you're going to flunk that test. <laughs> you spoke it. You I spoke got a test in my class today, and I know I'm not gonna flunk. I'm gonna flunk it because I, I, even though I read everything, I know I think I know everything. But when I take that test, I'm gonna flunk it. When you're gonna flunk it, you know. Right. You I speak like this. Yeah. Today I have a test in my class, and I didn't read the subject for the class. I didn't read inf any information, but because I know that I am smart. Because I've been in this class sitting all this time and I've been listening to the teacher teach, I'm going to pass that test. And you would get in there and you begin to read those questions and those words will come in and you will pass that test. It's mm -hmm. all your mindset. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because the battle is in the mind. The battle is in the mind and the enemy. Because how does he win? He wins through depression, oppression ignorance we talked about these strongholds you become uh withdrawn you become uh isolated that's how he win but when we yeah. when we when we when we suit up and we group up and we pray together and we pray for one another then those strong those things start to shed off of us you know there's like i and i keep going back to myself yesterday and this morning i got up i i, I made up i was like i'm going to pray there because she's like everybody pray i'm so glad I, that it was an all prayer because that thing helped to loosen the the the, the 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 little things that were going on in my mind because i'm i'm Amen. There at the doctor's office with somebody and i just zoned out i'm like mm. okay you know yeah or i'm feeling some kind of way you know, but I'm I'm not gonna walk in depression. And I know if I do that, the enemy's gonna win. Yeah. So I'm gonna encourage myself in the things of the Lord. I'm gonna pray at five o'clock. Yes, it's a it's a it's a struggle, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. I didn't I you know I forgot all about Sabbath school. I'm just being real with you all. Mm -hmm. But I say, Lord, you gotta show me what should I be teaching today. Mm -hmm. And this what I'm teaching today is helping all of us, including yes, myself. Amen. Then mm -hmm. I know I don't have to walk in depression. Mm -mm. I don't have to walk in sa even sadness, yeah. even wondering. Like the man when we were on the, just now, he called me about the car, so I got to go get the car now. I got to figure out how to go get the car, but I can't. I can't. I can't be worried about it. The the mm -hmm. Bible tells us not to be anxious for nothing. Yes. Yes. You know, so we can't let the enemy win, even when we when we when situations come. Because yeah. that's how he wins. He be, he'll make us anxious. He'll make us worry about stuff. He'll cause depression. He'll cause uh, us to uh, be, like I said, isolated. He'll cause us to not to be friendly or kind or whatever, be short-tempered with people. Yeah. You know, that's mm -hmm. not part of the fruit. No. no. Tasha, you wanted to share something? Oh, no, no. I, I was just saying yes to what you were saying. Yeah, you know, sometimes the enemy will... You know, well, he when when stuff comes through people, whether it's the enemy, or whatever, then it it could cause you to be short tempered. It could cause you to, if if you don't watch yourself, like you said, if you're not looking at your own actions, it, sometimes it could almost be an automatic reaction if you're not, you know, watching yourself. You're just like, oh, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you you talking wrong, and you might not even realize how you're talking wrong. But when mm -hmm. you stop slow down and look at yourself you be like oh my goodness look how I, how I talk ugly or look how I you know just cut this person off you know like and mm -hmm. and, and it and, also could be your face expression too because right. somebody may want to tell you something but they yeah. the, 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 what I've been through my mindset is a certain way and I turn around I look at them, they may say Janice I turn around I look at them and I look like I'm about to kill you yes. and like, yes. oh, but that's okay Janice but what they may been want to talk about may have been something serious and that's something I actually could have helped them with but I killed 
felt that by my right. face expression. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's that's a good one. And that's I'm how the enemy can defeat us because that day it may be in a deliverance day for that person. Wow. We don't know. I'm gonna read you all this statement and and then we'll talk about it. So we talk about the enemy and demons and demonic forces. If they are exposed, they will threaten you. Think about what I'm saying. They hope to produce fear and or anger in you. The enemy knows that if they can get your focus on either of these two things, you will lose hope and lose sight of Jesus. If the enemy can find success in this area, Christian will either run from the battle or run to it without the covering of the presence of God. Wow. Yeah. So the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to produce fear and anger okay. in our lives. And you know we're seeing all of this fear like the people, I'm going to tell you, like the people is like going to the grocery store, you know, am I going to get killed today because somebody mm -hmm. going to walk in the grocery store and shoot up African-American people? Or am I going to go to um, my children, send my children to school and they're going to be shot up at school? There's a lot of fear. And that's if he can keep us in that fear that threatens us. But see, we don't have to be threatened by the enemy. We have power. We have authority in this battle. Either we're yeah. going to run from the battle or we're going to run to the battle with, the, like you would say, with the word of God, with our prayers, with, with our love, with our kindness. We're either going to run or we're going to go to the battle. You think about what with, with David was fighting Goliath. He went to take them some, some food, some nourishment, some cheese and stuff, bread and all wine, mm -hmm. or whatever he was taking. He wasn't there to fight the battle that he thought, that he, thought he it wasn't, but God had a different plan. So when yeah. he got there, right, mm -hmm. he was not even equipped to go in battle with a giant or war, right? Mm -mm. He was, he had no equipment. All he had was his little sling, not knowing that that's what God was going to use. So when he went to battle, he didn't run. Everybody else was scared of Goliath. Think about it. He had been in the valley shouting and, and calling out names and calling whatever he was doing. And they were afraid of him. Right. And mm -hmm. David went to him. He went, he had to get close. Think about it. He had to get close enough to, enough to hit him in the head with that rock, with that sling. Once he slung that rock, you, he had to get, he had to be running. You can't just sling a slingshot and, 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 and just, you can whirl it, but in order for it to be effective, you got to have some momentum too. So he was moving. He was going into battle to fight this giant, to fight this uncircumcised Philistine that was calling down on the name of God. Mm -hmm. So this is what we have to do. We have to be ready to run into the battle and not run away from the battle because mm -hmm. we have authority in Christ Jesus. He has given us the authority through his word, through prayer, through fasting, to pray, whatever we have to do, through love and kindness and whatever we have to, to walk in the spirit, to walk in the things of God. We have to do these things in order for us to be able to be overcomers. We don't run from the battle. We run, we, we should be running to the battle. The situation with the schools and stuff, we should be praying for those principals and school boards and people that have authority over this, praying for the people that uh, with the gun laws and all this other stuff. We should be praying. We should be praying that these things be changed. That You know, there is no way a 12 year old should have a, that should even have a gun. Amen. No way an 18 year old should even have a gun, be able to Amen. buy a gun. You can't even vote, but you, <laughs> you can't. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, I understand. So these are these are the battles that we should be going into. We can't be afraid to go to the grocery store. That's right. We can't be afraid. I'm gonna say it like this: We can't even be afraid of these gas prices. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We yeah. can't be because if we're going to trust God as our provider, as Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and Jehovah Nisi, our covering, then he's going to provide for us and he's going to cover us. Yeah. No matter what the enemy says, does, or think, we're yeah. going to battle. We're not afraid. We're covered under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So what two things, this will be our last point. What two things that you think we should not lose focus on? Hmm. Two things. Um, the first one I think that we should not lose focus on is like. It could be any two, you know, whatever you think. Obedience. <laughs> I, I think don't lose sight of obedience. I think mm -hmm. obedience is huge because obedience is making a statement that we love God like that's that's how we say that that's how we tell god we love him in our actions you know <laughs> uh-huh um so i i feel like oh obedience is is definitely something we need to focus on and what's else one more uh and then for me i would say maybe focusing on like my actions like ma again making sure that my actions are lining up with this word making sure that you know that i am walking in love and and being kind and 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 not doing things that are hurting people, you know, just being very mindful of my actions um, mm -hmm. to to be obedient to the word. That's just two things I can think of that I can. All right, Miss Janice. I think for me is to remember that um um uh, that is that this is a spiritual warfare. Um, and so in remembering that that it's a spiritual warfare, to remember that. Um, in God's word, he said he did not give us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Because um, when I'm, I, you know, as I have been going, it, it reminds me, as I've been going through, I had the fear of flying, the fear of getting in water, going <laughs> over water and all this stuff, these were all my fears. And so it stopped me from going up in the elevator so high. It mm -hmm. stopped me from traveling. It stopped me from doing a lot of things. So now with this spirit of fear that's running rapid of the shooting and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So now it can stop me from going to church. It can stop because I, when you think about shooting, you think about shooting, not just not in the school, but in the church. And when I got to the light the other day, I thought about, I said, oh my God, is, you know how you think about shooting with people at the light and stuff, with the, the gangs and stuff like that. It makes you fearful of everything. Mm -hmm. Fear is mm -hmm. something. And mm -hmm. it makes you fearful of everything. So I had to remember in my mind that God didn't give me the spirit of fear but a power and a love and a sound mind because these things can keep me trapped, us right. trapped right. in the house away from being around people. And right. then I guess, I don't know, the second thing with me is I guess in, um, it's not to, it's a, for me to stay focused on um, that I'm not in this battle by myself. So not mm. being in by myself, because the thing with me is I will, um, separate myself from people. Mm. Something I have, I separate myself. So in that separation, I get away from people. I get by myself. But yeah. God doesn't want me to live like that. That's right. Uh, we are yeah. all brothers and sisters in Christ. So I have to remember that when I get the feeling, um, I would call it stress or depressed, that mm -hmm. I have to focus more on the word and begin to pray more and begin to um. Um, to um, praise God more and to meditate on his word and find scriptures that I can walk in that will help me to be a better me tomorrow and today than I was yesterday. So um, in my struggles, I have to depend on God because he is my provider. He is the one to make provision for me. He is my that's protector. Right. And so that's 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 where I'm still. So I'm, I'm saying it all so much, but it's the, 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 um, the fear is the first one, I guess, and the second one is just know that God is my provider, that would that He's going to take care of me, so mm -hmm. I don't go in a covenant of being um, alone, alone by myself. Know that I got brothers and sisters in Christ, and that we're Amen. all together. And if you all remember the first part of that statement I read, I said, if they are exposed, mm -hmm. they will threaten you. Mm -hmm. So you felt threatened about. Hey, I'm gonna have that fear about flying. I have fear about heights, elevators, water, whatever. Mm -hmm. That was a threat to you, or yes. the threat of 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 being at the at the stoplight or whatever. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, 
but just like you just said, you know, you're not alone. You you are not alone. You know, yes. you you have prayer warriors. You have Jesus. First of all, we are God. We got Jesus. We got the Holy Spirit. You got mm -hmm. prayer warriors, sisters and brothers in Christ. You know, they're praying. We're praying for one another. You mm -hmm. know, we're covered under the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, and I think for me, it's not. To, to, for me, I, I can't lose focus on what God has called me to do, you know, for, mm -hmm. for, for he has he has destined for me to do, to do his will in my life. And sometimes I can lose focus because, I you know, I do, 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 do. Cause, and that's what I was. I was like, Lord, I'm doing all these things and, I, and I'll be transparent with you all. And I said, who's doing anything for me? Mm hmm. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing mm -hmm. all the doing and the giving and the this and the going and it. But who's doing for me? And he reminded me, I gave, I'm doing, I'm the one. Don't worry yeah. about what nobody else is doing if they don't do anything else. He said, you said you trust me. You're gonna do this, then do it and don't complain. Because mm -hmm. I was complaining up the wazoo and back down the yazoo. But <laughs> but you know, and I was like. Oh, why am I doing this? But that was the enemy. The mm -hmm. enemy was tricking me because he wanted me to go into a state of threat. Well, he thought, yes. oh, I threaten you with your with your finance, or I threaten you with this and the other, that other, because he knows he knows he knows I'm unemployed at the moment, but he mm -hmm. knows he does he better know, and I'm saying it out in the atmosphere that I'm still trusting God and even in my unemployment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, you know. Amen. So, I mean, it was it was a battle, and I'm so glad that God put this on my heart to do this because we are overcomers by the words of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb, the God, Jesus shed His blood that we could fight these battles, that we could overcome, that we have an intercessor who is sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us that we have yes. God's spirit living inside of us so when these things come up we have his word like you said Mr. we have his word like you yes. said Ms. Tasha we we um we'll be obedient to the word to the things and we will not be victims to fear yes. and anger and oppression and isolation we will not become a victim we will become victorious yeah. By the by, these things that we believe and trusting in God, that our faith will be stronger each and every day. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Anybody have any questions, comments? No, just a wonderful, wonderful um class today, and I just thank God for the class because it helped strengthen me and it helped me see some things and I learned some things and um. I mean, it will help us one to another. So I thank God mm -hmm. for letting me be able to attend this class today. It's a blessing to my soul. It really mm -hmm. was, Sister mm -hmm. D. It really mm -hmm. did help me. Um, I'm gonna go back over everything. I'm gonna line it up and make a, a presentation of it and everything. I'm gonna go back over the whole thing. It was good to me. It really mm -hmm. was. And uh, hopefully Praise one God. day I could use it somewhere, and I will use it. Yes. If, you know, because you know, it, it, it's just God's word, and God's word just sit true to form. True yeah, to form yeah. in our life, in my life. And yeah, I thank yeah. God for what you did today. I really thank do. God. I thank God. Thank you, teacher. Amen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I definitely thank God for the word as well. And just bring us back to the fact that we need to remember to use that word and use our faith and, and put into action. Because again, for me, that's something I feel like I struggle in. Sometimes I know the word, but I don't always put into action, but I need to start being mindful of my actions and putting the word into action. Cause, mm -hmm. cause I don't, I don't, I don't want the enemy. I want the Lord. So I got to make sure that I'm not just hearing it, but that I'm doing it as well. So I thank God mm -hmm. for just, you know, everything that we share today and thank God it's recorded. So <laughs> amen. All right. Well, you can stop the recording now. Amen. <laughs>